molecular compounds or covalent compounds start with a nonmetal, but not the ammonium ion. So molecular compounds are only going to be made up of two elements. Both of them will be nonmetals. To name molecular compounds, you need to use prefixes to indicate the number of atoms of each element present. You cannot use prefixes to name ionic compounds, only molecular. And therefore, if it's molecular, we also do not care about charges because they're both nonmetals. Two negatives are never going to cancel out. So the prefixes that you need to know, one is mono, two is di, three is tri, four is tetra, five is penta, six is hexa, seven is hepta, eight is octa, nine is nana, and 10 is deca. So some of these you may have heard before. So for example, when we have two chlorines and seven oxygens, we have two chlorines, so two was di, dichlorine. You change the ending of the second element to IDE, but never the first. So that's why it's dichlorine. And then seven is hepta, so hepta oxide. We change the second one to IDE. Also, we do not use mono for the first element. Only the second one will get the prefix mono. But the first one can get a prefix, just not the mono one. So let's look at a couple. The first one we have two nitrogens and five oxygens. So two was di, and five was penta. So dinitrogen, pentoxide. You can also say penta oxide. A lot of times if there's two vowels, the vowel that's on the prefix gets dropped. SO3, people mess up on SO3 because they think that SO3 is this one, but notice that there's no negative two on it. This is an ion, while SO3 is not an ion. So we have one sulfur and three oxygens. So one sulfur is mono, but we don't put mono on the first one. And we have three, which is tri, so sulfur trioxide. And then our last, our next one, we have one carbon and one oxygen. So instead of saying monocarbon monoxide, it's just carbon monoxide. Notice the O from mono got dropped instead of having two O's next to each other. Go ahead and pause the video and do the next two on your own. Restart when you have those two done. So four phosphoruses and 10 oxygen should have been tetraphosphorus, four phosphorus, deca oxide, 10 oxygens. And then the last one, we have two arsenics and three oxygens, so diarsenic, trioxide. Pause the video and figure out what the name of this one would be out of those choices. We have three chlorines and four oxygens. So it should be D, tricarbon tetraoxide. Writing the formulas of molecular compounds, we again do not worry about charges. We say we have three sulfur, nine oxygen. So three sulfur, oxygen, nine. We don't reduce anything. Silicon dioxide, one silicon, because there's no prefix, two oxygens. Go ahead and do the next two on your own. Restart when you have those answers. So three sulfur, monofluoride, one fluorine, 
no prefix, so just one of those, and then hexa br6. Pause the video and do these last two on your own. Restart when you're done with those. Hepta was seven, so arsenic, seven. Octa is eight, so iodine, eight. No prefix, so just chlorine. Pinta is five, and phosphorus is P. All right, you're naming these. So on these, some of them are going to be ionic, some are molecular. So step one is we look at the first one. Iron is a metal. Oh, if it's a metal, I should be asking myself, looking at my periodic table, do I know iron's charge? Is it in group 1A, 2A, silver, zinc, cadmium, aluminum, gallium? No, iron is not. So that means I need Roman numerals for it. So this is ionic. And we need Roman numerals. So from our second video, when we were figuring out the charges of our metals, we looked at the second one. We said chlorine is a negative 1. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. So iron must be a plus 3. So iron 3 chloride. The second one, we stop and say nitrogen. Okay, let me find nitrogen on the periodic table. Nitrogen is here. It's a non-metal. Since it's a non-metal, I should be using prefixes. So I don't care about charges. I just say I have two nitrogen and five oxygen. So dinitrogen pentoxide. The next one, I'm going to stop and say Ca. Let me find it on the periodic table. Ca is here. It's in group 2A. It's a metal, which means I don't use Roman numerals and I don't use prefixes. So I just say the name of the two. I got calcium and I got chlorine. So calcium chloride. And then last one, I've got B. So I look on the periodic table. B is here. It's a non-metal, so I need to use prefixes. One boron and three fluorine is boron trifluoride. So this one was molecular, ionic, and molecular. I'm going to pause the video and do these last three on your own. Restart when you're done. So zinc was a metal, and we know the charge of zinc. So we just name the two pieces zinc oxalate. The next one is a little tricky, because if you just looked at the first element, you would say, oh, that's nitrogen, which is a non-metal. But remember that you can't have three elements and it be covalent or molecular. So we have ammonium, and ammonium is one where we just name the two pieces. So ammonium chloride. And then the last one is SN. We don't know the charge of it, and it's a metal. So you should have said negative 1 times 2. So 10,2 bromide. 